Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Gaska and welcome back to I Could Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today I'm going to be customizing Honey, the doll that I designed and created myself. I've done a few videos now customizing Honey, three versions of the original Honey, and one version with the muffin face. Today we're introducing another new face, Meet Buns, as in Honey Buns. Buns has a very expressive face with a big smile. To bring some diversity to Honey, I custom mixed a darker skin tone. After that, I printed her out and then prepped the doll off screen. So here's Buns printed out. She has some lines on her forehead from the printing. I think I didn't mix the color well enough there or something, I'm not quite sure. But don't worry, she's going to have bangs so that'll be covered up. Now let's get started drawing out her face. Using my Copper Beach watercolor pencil, I'm going to start sketching out her eye. For her theme today, I've decided to combine two of my favorite things, cheeseburgers and magical girls. So obviously her full name would be Honey Buns the Cheeseburger Magical Girl. After I do one side, I'll do the other side off screen. Next, using my Crimson Lake watercolor pencil, I'm going to start marking out the eyeshadow shape. It's going to have a wing shape that's going to wrap around the outer eye. Again, I'm just going to do the other side off screen and then move on to using my white watercolor pencil to mark out the white eyeshadow shape. And once again, I'll do the other side off screen and then move on to using the green watercolor pencil to do the green. And you guessed it, I'm going to do the other side off screen and then move on to using some pastels. I'm going to be using the red iron oxide tint and give her some blush. I'm going to be doing the general face and the lips. On the next layer, I'm going to use some watered down white acrylic paint and a fine brush and paint over all the white areas. going to do one side and then do the other side off screen. Once that's all dry, I'll come back and use my Dewart Ink Tense Ink Black watercolor pencil and color in the brown areas I previously drew black. Alright cool, now I'll use my pink watercolor pencil and color in the waterline. Now using my yellow pan pastel, I'm going to start shading the white area on the outer and inner corners. I'm going to make sure to gradually blend it into the white. After that, I'm going to use some acrylic paint. I'm going to use some watered down red acrylic paint to paint the red areas. And then after that, I'll use some green acrylic paint to paint in the green areas.
And then finally, I'll use some black acrylic paint to paint in the black areas. In between all of these layers, I've been gradually adding some color to the lip and the cheek. Now using my white watercolor pencil, I'm going to draw some lines to add some texture to the lip. After that, I'll blend out the edges. Alright, awesome! Next, I'm going to grab my black fabric castell watercolor pencil and draw on the lower eyelashes. Alright, this mouth is looking really funny, so let's fill in these teeth so she looks a little less awkward. I'm going to fill them in with some white acrylic paint. Alright, cool, much better. Now let's give her some brows. Using my Burnt Sienna Shade Pan Pastel, I'm going to start drawing in the eyebrows. Once I brush them on, I'm going to use my eraser to refine the shape. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll set it with some Mr. Super Clear. On the next layer, I'll add some eyebrow hairs with my chocolate watercolor pencil. I'll start on the outside somewhat horizontal using swooping motions. As I gradually work my way in, I'll get more vertical. Then I'll use my Burnt Sienna Extra Dark Pan Pastel and shade the outer edges. Using some black pastel, I'll shade the corners of the eye. Then I'll go back to the dark brown pastel and shade the lower eyelashes. Then I'll use a tiny amount of black pastel and shade the corners of the mouth. And to keep on going with the burger theme, I'm going to give her some white sesame seed freckles using some acrylic paint. Alright awesome, she's looking super cute! Now to give her some extra sparkle, I'm going to use some red glitter glue and add it to the red areas. Alright, next up is eyelashes. I'm using some Kiss brand faux eyelashes. Like usual, I'm just going to measure them and cut them to length. After that, I'll apply glue to the inner edge of the eye and the eyelash. Then I'll plop them on and fuss at them a little bit until I'm happy with the position. I'm going to do both sides and set it aside to dry. After that, I'm going to double stack the outer edge of the eyelash to give it a little bit more wing. I'll be using a different, smaller eyelash. At this point, I thought it would be a good idea to add some gold glitter to the yellow areas. Alright, now let's add some gloss. I'll be glossing the eyes and the mouth. For the eyes, I'll just be glossing the waterline. And while I do that, I just say thank you so much for watching, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest projects. Alright, now let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to start things off by using some red acrylic paint. Off screen, I painted the eye bases white with rust and spray paint. After the red paint dries, I'll add some yellow pastel. Then I'll spray with a layer of Mr. Super Clear and proceed with some watercolor pencils. Using orange and a yellow watercolor pencil, I'll add some texture to the iris. After that, I'll use some pastels to shade the eye. I'll be using a red pastel and a black pastel.
Once I'm happy with the shading, I'll clean up any smudges with some white acrylic paint. Then I'll seal it all with some Mr. Super Clear. Now let's add a red glitter pupil. After that, I'll seal it with a layer of UV resin off screen. Now let's add some sparkle and some catch lights to the eyes. Using a reflective gold nail charm, I'll add some sparkle. I'm just going to glue it on with a dot of Elmer's glue wall. Then I'll add some catch lights with some white acrylic paint. Once the catch lights dry, I'll dome and gloss the eyes with some UV resin off screen. Alright, now let's move on to some accessories. Here are some burger heels I designed and 3D printed. By far they're my favorite accessory. These burgers are for the wig. This is a little burger cabochon. A burger wand slash scepter. And a french fry purse. Now using some acrylic paint, I'm going to start painting everything the appropriate colors. The burger will be burger color and the french fries will be french fry colored. I also designed a little cheeseburger buckle. All of the non-burger parts are going to be painted gold. Then I'll paint on some gold glitter glue. And then I'll add on some of those gold sparkles that I used in the eyes earlier. After everything's all dry, I'll gloss the parts that I want glossy and make it look nice and juicy. I'll use some gloss UV resin and use some matte UV resin for the matte parts. Next up is the wig. Here's everything we'll be using to make the wig. Here's my wig cap, a sharpie, a paintbrush, a comb, a pair of scissors, some Elmer's glue wall, and some yarn wefts that I created off screen. I'm just going to start by marking out my hairstyle. The hairstyle we're creating today is buns. Something that looks like this. Except instead of hair buns, they're going to be burger buns. And she'll have bangs. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to start by cutting out the shape that I plotted for the hairline. Now I'm going to start gluing the hair wefts along the hairline and the part line. After I do that, the wig will look something like this. The next step will be gluing yarn wefts along the inside edge. Then I'll pull those hairs towards the pigtails and then style it. I'll do all the styling off screen because it's kind of a pain to film. Once I style the wig, it looks like this. Now let's put the burgers onto the wig. We don't need these pigtails, so I can just cut them off. After that, we'll add some super glue to the inside of the burger and plop it on.
I'm going to add a little bit more super glue on the edge to secure it. Then the wig is complete. In the end it looks like this. I think it's super cute and fits her theme perfectly. Now let's give her some earrings with those burger cabochons I created earlier. I'm just going to super glue them onto the earlobe. After that we'll move on to the sewing portion of this video. Here's the sketch I did for my magical girl design. She has a white halter base dress with an exaggerated collar. She'll have a red and yellow top layer that's kind of like a waist cape thing. They'll also have some bows and some burgers on it everywhere. I added some lace to this design and got rid of the shoulder pads. Alright, let's jump right into sewing. As usual, off screen I prepared the patterns and the fabric. I'm going to start with the base layer and hem the skirt and do the bust darts. After that I'll sew the collar, trim off the excess, and finish it with some fray check. Then I'll flip it inside out. Alright, now let's sew the facing to the bodice. Off screen I'll trim off the excess, finish it with spray check, and flip it inside out. Then I'll attach the collar to the bodice. I'm going to sew it to one side, flip in the excess, and then sew the edge. After that, I'm going to gather up a piece of lace and then sew it down center front. I'm going to use a tweezer to help me do this. Then I'll gather up the skirt and sew it to the bodice. Alright, now let's embellish this base layer. I'm going to start off by using this big bow and this burger cabochon. I'm just going to glue it to the neck. Something like that. Then I'll use these rhinestones as faux buttons and glue them down center front. Alright, cool. She's looking a little bare under the skirt, so I'm going to make some bloomers. I'm just going to hem the leg opening. Then I'll attach the two sides by sewing the front rise. After that, I'll hem the top edge. Then I'll sew the back rays, and then sew the inseam. After that I'll gather the waist and the legs on the doll off screen. Now let's work on this weird overlayer. I'm going to start by making a ruffle edge. 
I'm going to hem the bottom of the ruffle and then gather up the top. Then we'll attach the ruffle to the main body. Now let's work on the lining. I'm going to attach the top piece to the bottom piece by sewing the waist seam. I'll do the same thing to the outer shell off screen. Then I'm going to sew the two pieces together by sewing the top edge and the bottom edge. The bottom edge is the inside point. I know this sounds very confusing, but just follow along with the video. After I sew that, I'll trim off the excess, flip it inside out, and then sew the edge. Sewing the edge will close up the openings. Alright, this is looking pretty good so far, but this inside edge is kind of ugly so we're going to cover it up with some lace. I'm just going to hand sew it on. Alright, now let's work on the belt for a second. I'm going to use some ribbon and attach it to the buckle. I'm just going to cut and burn the edge. And of course, use my trusty super glue. I'm just going to put the ribbon through the buckle and then glue it. Then I'll weave through the other side, measure it, cut it, and then burn it. I'll check it on the overlayer to make sure it's the right length. Off screen, I added a hook and eye closure to the overlayer. Now let's add some belt loops. I'll use the same ribbon that I used for the belt. I'm just going to finish the edge and then glue it on. Measure the length, cut it and burn it, glue that on, and then finish the whole thing with a rhinestone. I'll do the same thing a bunch of times all over. Then we'll add some bows to the front. Of course, I'm just going to use my super glue and glue them on. Then I'll glue a burger to the center of each bow. I'll do two more bows at the back. Off screen, I sewed her some socks. Now let's add a bunch of bows and rhinestones to the skirt edge. And to finish up the dress, I'll add some yellow straps. I'm just going to use some yellow ribbon and glue to the inside. I'll wrap around the shoulder to measure it and then glue it. I just realized at some point I also sewed a velcro closure at the center back. There's one at the neck as well. Alright, we're in the final stretch. The last detail is painting her nails. Of course, I'm going to paint them in gold, followed up with some glitter. To 
To finish the nails, I'll do a glossy UV top coat off screen. Then I'll assemble her. And with that, the doll's complete. So here she is, Honey Buns, the Cheeseburger Magical Girl. I'm really happy with how she turned out. I think she's super cute and adorable. Of course, I love all the cheeseburgers everywhere. Personally, I'm obsessed with this wig. It was my first time doing an updo slash pigtail style. It was definitely an adventure and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really love the outfit and all the little details. As I mentioned before, my favorite accessory by far is the heels. I just think they're so cute and really funny. This was also my first time doing a doll so expressive. I think she ended up looking very happy like she's laughing or smiling. I also love Honey in a darker skin tone. I plan on making Honey in a variety of skin tones in the future. Thanks again for watching and I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any ideas for other food inspired dolls let me know. I had such a fun time making the watermelon girl I couldn't help but make another one. There just might be another one coming up very soon. For the rest of the video, just enjoy these awesome photos. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!